So if you have ever watched videos from Ali Abdal, Thomas Frank, or even Veritasium, amongst others, you might have come across Brilliant. Brilliant, 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 who are coincidentally very kindly sponsoring this video. Brilliant is a fantastic online platform with courses in maths, science, and computer science. Brilliant is a learning platform that keeps the principle of active learning at the forefront of everything they do. Brilliant is a website and app that teaches you STEM concepts in an interactive way. I've always been eager to try it since I first heard of it, but I never really freed up my time to actually get into trying Brilliant seriously. First of all, this video is absolutely not a sponsor by Brilliant, but if this video ends up doing really well, you know that I am up to it, Brilliant, so, you know, you contact me, I contact you. Anyways, so I tried Brilliant for a week in order to hopefully learn some new interesting things and see how my learning experience compares to that given to me by my A-levels. So for those new to the channel, hi, my name is Mario and I am a 17 year old international A-level student from Spain. I'm about to start year 13, my last school year in a few days right now in September. And I'm really excited because I will be sharing the whole experience with you guys in here from casual study blogs and effective study techniques to my mocks and my final exams as well as my results. So before I go back to school, let's talk about my brilliant experience, uh, no pun intended. So as I was only going to be trying brilliant for a week, which is little time, I decided to just choose two different courses to work on, astrophysics and complex numbers. I really wanted to dive into astrophysics, a field I don't really know apart from the little things I have read about black holes and star formation. I also thought complex numbers would be great for me as I would be doing some really good revision of uh, algebra topics that I will also be covering this year on my further maths A level. So I thought, well, why not? Let's just do that and let's just warm up before heading back to school. I started with the astrophysics course and actually the first questions were really easy and simple. However, as I progressed through the content, it became way more difficult and way more challenging. Uh, it required greater problem solving skills. What I started to like about Brilliant was the way in which they presented the theory, which was done in the most practical way possible. When you learn a concept on Brilliant, they don't just throw at you some formulas and facts. Instead, they carry you through the historical background of the fact or formula, and they also show you the different questions that at that time were unanswered before a theorem or a concept was actually discovered. In this way, you have the context behind what you are learning, and you also have a deeper understanding of the subject and concept and you're also aware of the reason why it is important and why it is worth your time. This ends up making the learning process a more natural, dynamic and sustainable one, which works by itself due to a student's own uh, intrinsic motivation that arises as a result of pure curiosity. However, the real world works through examinations used as a proof for knowledge which also end up making the student experience a way more robotic one, which just focuses on getting correct answers and not on asking questions or having deeper interest. So I decided to focus on astrophysics as I didn't really have that much time and I was really enjoying it. I would be leaving complex numbers for later on when I started classes so that I could actually use it as a complement to my own normal classes so that I could get a different perspective when learning a new concept in math uh, or further maths. This will definitely help me in achieving a greater understanding of my math concepts and my math classes as well. And it will also help making the process a more time effective one. Now that I have told you about my brilliant experience, let's quickly compare the free version to the premium one, the paid one. There is a great video by Ray Amjad in which he covers this in really good, great detail. I do share his opinion with him, uh, but yeah, to summarize, one of the main downsides of premium is uh, its price, which is quite expensive. You also don't have the option of purchasing uh, the subscription for one month. You need to at least do it for three months, which obviously increases the price significantly, making it uh, around $40 to get started with Brilliant for three months. So yeah, this is basically quite expensive. So I can see the downside in here. Uh, and that's why I did take a really long time to actually try it because it is expensive. 
let's just leave it at that. Another key point you need to take into account when wondering whether or not you need the premium subscription is that with the free version, you can already start improving your problem solving. Uh, and it is really good. You get access to the most recent daily challenges. I think it's the last 10 days of daily challenges that they upload and you have access to them and you can do them with explanations. And that's really good to get started with problem solving. However, the free version does not allow you access to the courses that I'm doing, for example, in this video. If you do want to get uh, more specific and learn about a topic, um, a subject such as physics, uh, maths, computer science, or like me, you want to use a powerful tool in order to complement your classes and uh, have more perspectives and ways of understanding the content. Then the courses included do justify the elevated price. Um, I think it's really worth it. I do learn a lot in their courses. They are really good. They ask really good questions and they give very good explanations as well. So I think it's really totally worth it. I'm going to be using it for a year now and I will be doing as many courses as possible. In a week, there is a limit to what you can do uh, referring to learning. You know, there's a limit to that. But I think I did get enough uh, time to actually form a decent conclusion about Brilliant. I have learned that Brilliant is indeed a great way to discover whether or not you are passionate about a subject, which is the main reason why I got started in Brilliant, really. It is also a great way to spark your curiosity and, you know, build some motivation uh, towards the subject and the area so that you can continue learning and enjoy it basically. By itself, it won't make you get straight A's, but I can tell you that it will definitely help you in gaining the sufficient interest in order to work hard for the subject and get the best grade possible. I hope you found this video helpful, useful or entertaining at least. I have left a race video in the description down below as well as some other resources. Uh, talking about the brilliant subscription and how it has been for other people so that you can see whether or not it is worth for you to purchase brilliant premium i actually purchased the yearly subscription of brilliant uh, because i thought it would really help me throughout the year so i may possibly upload another video uh, sharing with you my year-long experience with brilliant if i see that some of you guys are interested in that i really appreciate if you could leave a thumbs up and also consider subscribing because it really helps so that more people can watch this video and so that we can just keep growing but also hopefully helping other people reach uh, my videos so that they can hopefully benefit from them for those of you that are wondering whether or not i will be uh, doing uh, constant uploads now that i am starting school i will be doing so so yes chill out i will possibly not upload weekly because i think i won't just have time i have lots of things in my life and i don't want to make this something too much of an obligation i want to make it something a bit more natural so I think you should expect at least uh, videos every other week every two weeks but I will definitely do some weekly videos uh, we'll see how it goes so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video